Thank you, House Chair. The Economic Freedom Fighters believes very strongly that no black person can ever be a foreigner in an African soil. These divisions we now see in our society are as a result of over 100 years of exploitations of Africans by the real foreign exploiters who took from our people everything. They took land, they took Izinkomo, Zobaba, Zemuka, House Chair. The foundations of South Africa, as we have to know it, are premised on the super exploitation of African labor from within this country and across the continent. They came, they are still coming looking for livelihoods from within this country, from Central and Southern Africa, and have followed in the footstep of their grandfathers, uncles, fathers, a long road or a railway line to the city of gold. The current debacle pertaining to unemployment and equality is wrongfully placed and blamed on African brothers and sisters and black people from the developing world. We are just fighting over crumbs. The continuing violence against African nationals is very disingenuous and is a platform for black on black violence. The failure of society ought to be put at the door of the ANC. The ANC has failed to transform the lives of South Africans. In the midst of attempting to confront economic strongholds against black people, white monopoly capital has been left untouched. It is the ANC that negotiated itself into power on the basis of leaving the exploitative structure of the South African economy unchanged. It is the ANC which has presided over massive unemployment of our people, leaving over 40% of young people eligible to work without work. It is the ANC which has, for the past 23 years, refused to force the very same mining companies which have exploited our people for over a century to process our minerals in this country, to create more jobs instead of exporting raw materials to the developed countries. So there can be no harmonious living together in this country if the economy continues to be in the very same hands of a tiny foreign minority which has plundered our nation for centuries. There can be no harmonious living together if that tiny foreign minority still owns more than 80% of the land and the ANC is okay about this whole situation. There can be no harmonious living together until South Africa truly belongs to her people, the dispossessed, the unemployed, the landless, and the ANC must give our people land, not tomorrow, but today. We must direct our anger to those who refuse to let go of their loot, those who own our economy and enjoy alone the fruits of what he says to offer. But we must realize that there is no defeating white monopoly capital with it de without defeating ANC first. The ANC must fall. Only the EFF can free this country from tentacles of white monopoly capitalism. I thank you, Chair.